Imagine standing on a beach where elephant seals the size of cars lie scattered like living boulders. The wind screams at 120 km per hour. Rain lashes horizontally. And beneath your feet, something impossible. You're not standing on volcanic rock, not on continental fragments. You're standing on the Earth's mantle itself. Rocks that should be six kilometers beneath the ocean floor are here, at the surface, exposed to the sky. This is Macquarie Island, the only place on Earth where you can walk from the seafloor to the mantle without ever getting wet. And today, we're diving into the most geologically insane island on the planet. Let me paint you a picture of just how remote this place is. Macquarie Island sits in the Southern Ocean, exactly halfway between Tasmania and Antarctica. It's a narrow blade of land, 34 kilometers long, but barely five kilometers wide, rising straight out of waters that plunge over 4,000 meters deep. There are no trees here, no shrubs, no buzzing insects, no warm summer days, because warm doesn't exist on Macquarie Island. The temperature in summer, around seven degrees Celsius. In winter, about four degrees. You heard that right. The difference between summer and winter is just three degrees. The island experiences over 300 days of rain, sleet or snow each year. And the wind? It regularly exceeds 120 kilometers per hour. Now, you might be thinking, wait, why is the temperature so stable? That seems weird. And you'd be absolutely right to question it. But here's the thing. It makes perfect sense once you understand where Macquarie Island sits. The island floats inside what sailors call the Roaring Forties and Furious Fifties, latitude bands where ferocious westerly winds circle Antarctica, unimpeded by any landmass. The Southern Ocean here acts as a massive thermal battery, absorbing heat in summer and releasing it in winter. This creates one of the most climatically stable places on Earth. Stable, yes but also relentlessly harsh. Yet despite this brutality, over 3.5 million seabirds and 80,000 elephant seals gather here every single year. They treat this windswept rock like a crowded metropolis. But here's what makes Macquarie Island truly special. This island doesn't exist because of life. It exists because the earth cracked open. Most islands form in one of two ways. First, you have volcanic islands, Think Hawaii, Iceland, the Galapagos. These are built by magma rising from deep in the earth, stacking layer upon layer of lava until mountains break the ocean surface. Second, you have continental fragments, pieces that broke off from larger landmasses. Think Madagascar, New Zealand, the British Isles. Macquarie Island is neither. Instead, it's made entirely of oceanic crust and upper mantle rocks materials that should be buried under kilometers of ocean. The island is composed of peridotite, mantle rock from six kilometers deep, serpentinized mantle, where seawater has chemically altered the original minerals into green fibrous serpentine, gabbro, coarse-grained rock that cooled slowly in the lower crust, sheeted dike complexes, vertical walls of frozen magma conduits, pillow basalts, those characteristic round, lumpy formations that form when lava erupts underwater and cools instantly. This sequence is what geologists call an ophiolite, a complete cross-section of oceanic crust and mantle. But here's the kicker. Most ophiolites are found on land because they've been scraped off and thrust onto continents during collisions. Macquarie Island is different. It's sitting right inside an active oceanic plate boundary being pushed upward in real time. Nowhere else on Earth can you see this happening. This is why geologists lose their minds over this place. It's like having a window directly into the Earth's interior. No drilling required, no deep sea submersibles needed. Just walk outside and pick up a piece of the mantle, literally. But how did this happen? How does mantle rock end up above sea level in the middle of the ocean? To answer that, we need to zoom out and look at the tectonic battlefield that created this island. Macquarie Island sits at one of the most geologically violent boundaries on Earth, where the Indo-Australian Plate and the Pacific Plate meet. Now, if you travel north from here, you'll find the Pisagu Trench near New Zealand, where the Pacific Plate is diving beneath the Indo-Australian Plate in a classic subduction zone. 
But as you move south toward Macquarie Island, something dramatic happens. The subduction stops. Instead, the plates begin sliding past each other while also being squeezed together. For millions of years, this pressure has been so intense that rocks from six kilometres deep have been thrust to the surface. And it's still happening today. In 2004, a magnitude 8.1 earthquake ruptured the region. The entire area trembles constantly with smaller quakes. This isn't a dormant geological feature. This is an island being actively built right now by tectonic plates moving at the speed your fingernails grow. Now let's get specific about what you would actually see if you walked across Macquarie Island. This place is basically a vertical slice through the earth laid out horizontally for you to explore. At the bottom, you find greenish mantle rocks from six kilometers deep, transformed by seawater into slippery, fibrous minerals. Move upward and you encounter dark, coarse-grained gabbro, cooled slowly from ancient magma, its large crystals visible to the naked eye. Then come the sheeted dikes, near vertical walls of dark rock stacked like books on a shelf. These are frozen magma highways that once fed volcanic eruptions on the seafloor. And at the top, pillow basalts, round, bulbous formations that look exactly like their name. Lava that erupted underwater and froze into pillow-shaped blobs. Together, these layers tell a story usually hidden beneath kilometres of ocean. Now, for all its geological wonder, Macquarie Island has a human history that's grim. Despite being one of the most isolated places on Earth, humans found it. And when they did, they brought destruction. The 1800s, the slaughter. In the early 19th century, sealers descended on Macquarie Island and began one of the most brutal wildlife massacres in history. They targeted elephant seals, fur seals, king penguins, royal penguins, millions of animals were slaughtered and rendered into oil. Entire rookeries vanished. The beaches ran red. Ships left carrying barrels upon barrels of seal and penguin oil used for lighting lamps and lubricating machinery in the industrial world. By the time regulations finally came, the damage was catastrophic. 1911, the Aurora Expedition. The island story took a different turn when Douglas Mawson's Antarctic Expedition established a radio relay station here. Macquarie Island became Australia's first communication link with Antarctica a vital connection for explorers facing the frozen continent. 1930s, science takes root. Australia established a permanent research station, later operated by the Australian Antarctic Division. Supply vessels, like the famous Nella Dan, made annual visits, bringing scientists and supplies to this remote outpost. The 1990s, ecological collapse. But the human impact continued in a different form. Introduced species, rats, mice and rabbits, devastated the island's ecosystem. Rabbits ate the vegetation, causing massive hillsides to erode. Rats predated on bird eggs. The island was dying from the inside out. 2011 to 2014. The greatest comeback story on Earth. Then came one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever attempted. Over four years, teams of scientists, conservationists and logistics experts worked to completely eradicate every single introduced mammal from the island. Every rabbit, every rat, every mouse. The operation used helicopters, specially trained dogs, bait stations and meticulous tracking. It cost tens of millions of dollars and required coordination that would rival a military operation. And it worked. For the first time in 200 years, Macquarie Island was pest-free. Today, the island is healing. If the geology brings scientists to Macquarie Island, the wildlife brings absolute awe. Despite the brutal climate, this island hosts one of the most spectacular wildlife gatherings on the planet. Elephant seals. Up to 4,000 kilograms of pure bulk crowd the beaches in enormous herds. During breeding season, massive males battle for dominance, their guttural roars echoing across the island. Four penguin species. Call this place home. King penguins with striking orange markings. Royal penguins, found almost nowhere else on Earth. Gentoo penguins with white eye patches. And rockhopper, the punks of the penguin world with spiky yellow crests. Over one million royal penguins alone. 
During peak season, the rookeries are so densely packed, you can barely see the ground. Every year, a select group of about 20 to 30 expeditioners winters on Macquarie Island. These are some of the toughest scientists on Earth life at the Australian Antarctic Division's research station means months of complete isolation from the outside world. Winds that literally scream across the buildings. 24 hours of daylight in summer. 24 hours of darkness in winter. Elephant seals sleeping outside the station door. Penguins casually walking through work sites. The station conducts critical research on climate change and its effects on the southern ocean ocean currents and their role in global climate systems, tectonic movements and earthquake activity, wildlife population dynamics, atmospheric chemistry, meteorology and weather patterns. The data collected here is essential for understanding the entire southern hemisphere's climate system. These expeditioners are studying one of the last truly wild places on Earth, a place where nature still operates on its own terms, where human presence is tolerated but not welcomed, where the planet reminds you constantly that you're just a visitor. So why should you care about this remote, windswept rock in the middle of nowhere? Because Macquarie Island matters in ways that ripple across multiple scientific disciplines and conservation efforts. It's a geological impossibility. There is nowhere else on Earth where mantle rocks are exposed at the surface within an active oceanic plate boundary. This isn't just rare, it's unique. Every geology textbook in the world could be improved by studying this island. It's a living laboratory. Want to understand how oceanic crust forms? Come here. Want to see what the ocean floor looks like without getting wet? Come here. Want to study mantle dynamics without drilling tens of kilometres into the Earth? Come here. Scientists can literally walk across rocks that form six kilometres deep and see every layer of the oceanic crust in sequence. It's like having a free X-ray of the Earth's interior. It's a climate sentinel. Weather data from Macquarie Island is crucial for understanding and modelling the entire Southern Hemisphere's climate. The Southern Ocean plays a massive role in global climate regulation, and this island sits right in the middle of it. It's a conservation miracle. The successful eradication of all introduced mammals is one of the greatest conservation achievements in history. It proves that even the most damaged ecosystems can recover if we're willing to invest in their restoration. It's a wildlife sanctuary. Millions of animals depend on this island for survival. It's a critical breeding ground, a safe harbour and a testament to the resilience of life in extreme environments. It's an Australian treasure. Few Australians even know this island exists, yet it's one of the most scientifically important landforms the country possesses. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, protected and preserved for future generations. Standing on Macquarie Island is like standing at the intersection of everything that makes Earth extraordinary. Beneath your feet, tectonic plates grind together with forces that could level cities. In your hands, you hold rocks that form six kilometres below the ocean floor. Above your head, albatrosses glide on wings built by evolution to master the most violent winds on the planet. Around you, elephant seals bellow across beaches of black sand and penguins by the million crowd rookeries that stretch beyond the horizon. The wind screams, the rain lashes, the island trembles with earthquakes. And through it all, Life persists with a tenacity that defies comprehension. This is a place shaped by forces we can barely fathom. A place where the Earth's interior has been thrust to the surface, where the ocean and atmosphere wage constant war, where animals gather in numbers that seem impossible. Macquarie Island, where the mantle meets the sky, where millions gather in the storm, and where the planet shows us exactly what it's made of.